Hi, this is Tim Kant for Native Instruments, and in this video we're going to look at how you can make complex atmospheric soundscapes and effects using the unique sample tracking synthesizer Form. Form is a Reactor instrument and can be used with the full version of Reactor or the free Reactor Player plugin. And you can check out the demo version by clicking the link in the top right hand corner. We'll start by loading Form up in Reactor, then we'll click the Preset Browser button and select the factory presets. Double click the init form patch to initialize the synth. Form is capable of transforming audio material into unrecognizable shapes and is perfect for creating abstract noises for your soundtrack or atmospheric music projects. First, we need to drag a sample onto its sample page. You can use your own samples, but the synth comes with a library of hundreds of samples, so we'll use one of those. Drag form breathy trill.wav onto the sample panel and click the load sample button to load the entire sample into form. We can now play the sample chromatically up and down the keyboard. Click the sample button to bring up the waveform display. We can use the start and end markers to tell form which part of the sample we want to play. Put the markers around the swell in the middle section of the sample like so. Next click the loop button to select infinite looping mode. The curve in the window above is a rising sawtooth shape which shows that the sample playback head moves in a linear fashion through the sample. We can create a ping pong looping effect by clicking the up arrow to the right until we get to the triangle shape. Now the sample plays forwards as indicated by the upward movement of the curve, then backwards as indicated by the downward movement of the curve. Click the sound button at the top of the display. You'll see that in the modulation section, OMV1 is selected and this controls the amplitude level of the audio output. As we're creating a soundscape kind of effect, we want to have a high sustain level and long attack and release times, so turn those up. We could also do with some delay and reverb. These can be found on the effects page. Activate them by clicking their power buttons, then set the reverb type to space. Turn the reverb level up, then turn the delay level and feedback up. We've got a much more atmospheric sound now, and if we turn down the volume level we can play polyphonic pads without clipping the master. Let's make things more interesting with Form's oscillator effects. Click the sound button and activate the power button to the left of the deform knob. Play a note and sweep the deform knob and form will generate some weird and wonderful sounds. Let's automate this parameter. Turn the deform value all the way down, then click where it says deform under the knob and the modulation menu will appear. Click the first slot and set it to ONV2 and turn up the modulation amount like so. Click the ONV2 button in the modulation panel, then turn the sustain all the way down and the attack, decay and release up. This gives us an eerie modulating soundscape 
and the longer release time means we'll get an interesting effect where we play shorter notes. We can add further interest with the sample length parameter. Try sweeping it as you play the sound. Let's modulate this too. Turn the sample length parameter all the way down, then click where it says sample length and set the modulation source to LFO1. Turn the modulation amount all the way up. Click the LFO1 button in the modulation tab. When we sweep the speed parameter, we get some really abstract sounds, so let's modulate this too. Turn it all the way down, assign its modulation source to ONV2, and turn the modulation amount all the way up. For the final touch, try adjusting the multiply knob in the OSC FX panel to add another dimension of trippiness to this already out of this world sound. 